so fascinated about, and I'm sure you are as well. You've been hearing about this for such a long time. After years of just being a, a tale to most people, the world of digital money, such as Bitcoin, has now gained popularity. Um, you may remember the Reserve Bank Governor, Lesetje Chanyajo, uh, joined the conversation, warning that if South Africa ignores this currency, the country would be doing so at its own peril. But why? So let's find out about this. And to talk to us about it is lecturer and researcher at the University of Pretoria, Dr. Edson Pinza. Good to have you, Dr. Pinza. Thanks very much for coming in. Good morning, Leanne. Thank you for inviting me. So I need a lot of help understanding what this is all about. And I'm sure a lot of South Africans do as well. The thing is, is that Bitcoin is not new. It's been around for nine years. Cryptocurrency, what is it all about? Just explain it to us if you can in layman's terms. Yes, um Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, they are a form of digital currencies or electronic uh, uh, money. Yeah. So what makes the difference between uh, uh, cryptocurrencies and over digital currency is in the case of cryptocurrency, we don't have a central party anymore. A central party meaning the bank. If you have to do a transaction uh, from one person to another, we have to go through the bank. But in the case of uh, Bitcoin and over cryptocurrencies, we don't have a central bank anymore. So, so the trust issue, which is taken care of by um, the institution mm. in the case of digital uh, cryptocurrency, is taken care by a platform. So Bitcoin is actually a platform, a platform which allows people to do transactions in a trustful manner. Okay, and that's, that's basically taking all banks out of the equation. This is basically its own currency that you buy things online with. What do you buy? I yes. mean, what, 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 if I own Bitcoins or I, I transact in Bitcoins, what can I get? Anything? Actually, you can buy anything you want. The same thing you can buy with a rand or the same thing you can buy with dollar. You can yeah. buy it using Bitcoin. Either you can buy it directly if uh, the merchant accepts Bitcoin directly or you can buy it using exchange because nowadays we have a um, card, uh, a prepaid card which are Visa or MasterCard endorsed yeah. whereby inside the card you have your money is Bitcoin and you can go to any uh, shopping or you can go to the ATM just to withdraw money or to do payment. How, how does it work? I mean, obviously, if I'm, let's just say, for instance, I'm booking a hotel, but yes. I'm booking a hotel in Hong Kong, yes. and this, this hotel happens to accept Bitcoin. Yes. Is there no, there's no, obviously, uh, different currencies, so there's no value to Bitcoin. In, in, in other words, I buy a, a Bitcoin for that value, and I pay for that value. So, as in, whether I was paying in dollars and rands, I'd be paying a lot more, but if you're paying in Bitcoin, is it a standard rate that you get all over the world? Yes. Actually, when, when you have to book for a hotel, the price is usually given uh, in um, the local currency. Yeah. But by the time you want to pay, you first generate the invoice, and the invoice will give you an equivalent in Bitcoin. Okay. Then you can do the payment. Incredible. But how, how popular is it here in South Africa? Because, I mean, I've never, ever been given an option to, to pay in Bitcoin. I mean, that's, that's something very foreign to me. So is it big here? Is it still, is it still getting big? What's the, what's, what's the status? I, I think at the moment it's getting big uh, because if you go on, um, on media, on social media, even on TV, uh, uh, you, you, you encounter now Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. And it's getting more and more popular in, yeah. uh, here in South Africa. What, what are the pros and cons, however, of having something like Bitcoin? Because as far as I understand, the, the Bitcoin market is, is completely unregulated. Yes, that's true. And um, one of um, the first benefits from Bitcoin is Bitcoin is a, a cryptocurrency which solves the problem of unbanked people. Uh, uh, meaning in, uh, in Africa, we have close to 80% of the population uh, which... Uh, uh, who don't have a bank account. Yeah. So then at the same time, we have more people using smartphone nowadays than people having bank account. So because Bitcoin is a, a currency which rely on internet, so which means anyone having a smartphone, having access to internet can start using Bitcoin. Then as a result, 
they will ultimately participate to the global economy. Mm. I mean, it, it, it's amazing how different currencies have very different outlooks on it. I'm reading that Japan and uh, South Korea have taken to Bitcoin unbelievably and it works exceptionally well there. Yes. However, you see a country like uh, Russia um, where Vladimir Putin is saying that cryptocurrency poses a risk of money laundering, financing terrorism, tax evasion. Uh, you know, it's, it's quite difficult to get a, a standard opinion of Bitcoin. JP Morgan, again, another company that y y is very much so against Bitcoin. Yes, yes, it's true. And um, what we notice now, even uh, 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 in the case of uh, Russia, because it's only at some point Russia was very against uh, uh, Bitcoin and cryptocurrency, but re uh, recently they have changed their position and they want to endorse cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, and uh, uh, even uh, next year in January, Russia, five university in Russia will start teaching uh, Bitcoin and cryptocurrency that at uh, master levels. Yeah. Just uh, finally, as we close this conversation, uh, yeah, I was reading a little bit about it, and I'm I'm hearing that there's going to be a split in the company though now with Bitcoin. Uh, the one one company, uh, one side of it is going to be completely different to the other side of it, and it depends on which kind of currency you have. I mean, is this going to affect it? Because a lot of people saying that this could be the downfall of Bitcoin, this court case that's going to go ahead. Do you know much about that? Y yes, actually, we have um, that. That will be a second split. We have already a, a first split, and uh, that uh, from uh, Bitcoin we obtain Bitcoin Cash, and now we will obtain also Bitcoin Gold. So, how does the split happen? It's just from because Bitcoin first is a um, is a open source software and which has a certain protocol, certain rules. So if you said, for example, one of the rule is there is only 21 million Bitcoin ever, then if you decide to say, I don't want 21 million, I want 80 million Bitcoin, mm -hmm. then actually you cause what, what is called split. So which means you're creating actually another cryptocurrency, yeah. which is different from, uh, uh, from, um, from Bitcoin. And this is what will happen tomorrow. Listen, it's a fascinating conversation, and I thank you so much for coming in and talking to us about it. Bitcoin, do you invest in Bitcoin? Have you ever used it? Uh, is that your, your, your preferential way of paying for things these days? Write to us at Morning Live, SABC. Bitcoin seems to be the way of the future, or not necessarily Bitcoin, but cryptocurrency. Please do write to us. It would be great to get your, your experiences on it. Dr. Edson Pinza is a lecturer and researcher at the University of Pretoria. Thanks so much for talking to us. Thank you for inviting me. Pleasure. Let's take a break. When we return, the Speaker of the House, Beleke Mbete, is in our Cape Town studio. Stay tuned.